Hey there everyone, so I know I haven't been uploading much lately, I've been kind of busy with other things and with some family stuff. Tried to make a couple videos recently, but I just haven't really gotten finished with any of it. So I'll probably just get rid of all that footage and tell you what's going on. So this Sunday I will be at the Blue Ash Mustang slash Ford show. So basically, it's going to be a lot of Mustangs, a lot of Fords. It's all the Canander. All of the money, I believe, goes to the Ronald McDonald house. I don't expect to take anything home, but it gives me a reason to do stupid stuff to clean my car. So I'm going to fully detail the car, the engine and all, and run it as daily driver because... I still find it funny to go to a show and have almost 240,000 miles and by maybe some chance I'll take a trophy with that. I've done that twice out of the three times I've actually entered in a real show. So maybe I'll get lucky. I don't expect to. But it's going to a good cause so I'm not going to complain if I don't. But I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I'll 17 of you and we'll see how that goes hopefully you guys enjoy the video and please subscribe I should be filming most of this with first gear wish me luck no uh, please like the video you heard me you're gonna say it's not I, I lied okay I didn't get back with you right after work I waited a little bit until I made a run to Walmart got some cleaning stuff got more stuff did a lot of stuff today I uh, clean finished mostly finished my car I got a couple more things you gotta do with glass and the wheels a little bit wheel wells are kind of dirty still but I addressed everything else so uh, let you see it I guess since I haven't really shown you anything today so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this probably shouldn't do it quite like that so I'm gonna do it a different way If you'll excuse the god-awful sound of that mower over there, I'll show you exactly what I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to wax it, and my secret to waxing my car and giving it a nice gloss from just the wax, rejects. It's meant for airplanes, which is how I found out about it. And then it was started, they started using it on boats and RVs and stuff like that, and then some genius got the bright idea to use it on cars. Whoever that was, you're brilliant. Because it works great and it lasts way longer than traditional wax. Run.
Okay, I'm not going to force you guys to watch this whole thing, so I'm going to fast forward to when I'm done. I'm not going to do a time lapse or anything like that. Well, the rejects is all done. She's all shiny. The only things that it really needs, honestly, aside from a new paint job right there, is uh, I'll redo the tire shine, clean up the wheel wells, because that is pretty nasty. Uh, I'm going to try and get the steering wheel wrapped back on there, so that'll be good to go. Nothing too crazy. I mean, I've already done most of it as of yesterday. We'll see how it goes. I'm not expecting to get a trophy, though, once again. I... I have a feeling it's not happening at this one, which doesn't really surprise me, I guess, because this one's mainly Mustangs and Fords. So, I mean, I don't know. I am using the book, though, because not a lot of people are going to be like, oh, why are you going to bring a book? It's just a V6 Mustang. But here's the thing. This car is a car that I bought this with my own money. When I was in high school, I was working two jobs at the time, and it left me with $200 in my bank account, which in high school is really not that bad, but it's crazy to think that I did that. And yeah, so now this is what we have because of that decision. So it's kind of crazy to think that it's come this far and that I've had it for this long. It's been about three years now. But what the book does, it explains the car, why I have it there, essentially, what has been done to it, what I had before, and what caused me to get into cars, which, what got me into cars, was the first time I ever drove a stick shift, which was when my mom took me out in the Ford Ranger that my grandparents have, the 94 Ford Ranger. It's almost 200,000 miles, runs like crap most of the time, and brakes more than it doesn't. But I learned to drive stick on it, which is probably why it breaks. But I went from that to a 98 Ford Contour. And then I bought this. This isn't the first one I was going to buy. I was going to buy a Torque Red 2002 V6, 100,000 miles. This one, a little bit less money. V6, 03, which was a year newer. Way better looking color than the Torque Red, in my opinion. I don't hate it, but I do like the blue more. It fits me, I guess. Um, there's something about the purple flake that's just great. I love it. So yeah, I ended up with this one with 190,000 miles. And now it's at almost 200, well it is at 240,000 after about another week. There's so many wild bikes around here. It's kind of frustrating. Then There's nothing wrong with the bike, but... It's when it's late at night and you're flooring it around every neighborhood, so that's annoying. I'm going to probably end the video here. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, even though it's been sort of like nothing really interesting's happened, which I guess is normal for my videos, right? Yeah, if you like what you see and you want to see more, feel free to subscribe, click for more. I'll see you in the next one. You must remember this, a kiss is still a kiss.